Hi kids! Are you ready for our new lesson? If you're ready, sit properly and listen well because this night we're going to study about the sixth commandment which is no murder. Na matatagpuan natin sa Exodus chapter 20 verse 13. Sabi dyan, thou shalt not kill. Napakaiksi no? Pero alam niyo ba sa original translation ng Bible na sa salitang Hebrew, ang nakasulat lang doon ay two words at yun ay no murder. Alam niyo na ba kung ano ang murder? Murder is what? Ending somebody's life by what? Killing them. At alam ko, sasabihin niyo, Teacher Isha, bata pa po kami, hindi pa po namin kailangan malaman na hindi po namin kailangan pumatay. Oops! Alam niyo ba that even if you're a kid, kahit batang-bata ka pa, matanda ka na o kung ano man, hindi ka exempted para malaman itong sinasabi ng Bible na ito that we should not commit murder. Siguro pagtatanungin ni Isha tayo ng lahat, meron na bang nakakomit dito ng murder? Siguro lahat tayo sasabi natin, hindi pa po, Teacher Isha, wala pa po akong pinatay na tao kahit kailan. At alam nyo ba, kahit na ang pinakamasamang tao dito sa mundo, o kaya naman yung mga taong hindi naniniwala sa Panginoon, alam nila sa sarili nila na hindi dapat tayo nagkocommit ng murder. At wala pang alam si Teacher Isha na bansa sa buong mundo na sinasabing okay lang mag-commit ng Murder. Dahil kahit dito sa Philippines, pag tayo nag-commit ng murder, ano mangyayari sa atin? Tayo eh, makukulong dahil yun ay paglabag sa batas natin. At ito rin ang sinasabi sa Bible. No murder. Alam niyo ba kids, na ang pag-commit ng murder ay hindi lamang yan sa pagpatay ng tao? Oh, huh? Teacher Isha, kala ko ba ang murder is ending someone's life. Siguro pag sinaksak mo isang tao, binugbog mo siya hanggang wala na siyang hina, pagka siya binaril mo, or whatever. Alam niyo ba, sa Bible, hindi lang yan ang murder na sinasabi ng Panginoon. Dahil makikita niyo sa Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5 verses 21 to 22. Matthew chapter 5 verses 21 to 22. Sinasabi dyan that Ye have heard that it was said by one of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment, and whosoever shall say to his brother Raka shall be in danger of the council, but whosoever shall say Thou fool shall be in danger of Hell fire. <gasps> kahit pala magalit tayo sa ating mga neighbors, sa ating mga friends, o kahit sinong tao, nagkukomita daw tayo ng murder. Pag, ito ay walang rason, at ito ang kumokontrol na sa atin ay yung ating galit. Lalong lalo na pag iniisipan mo na ng masama yung isang tao na kinagagalitan mo, o yung kaaway mo, o yung taong naiinis ka. Yan na ay consider ng Panginoon na murder. Kaya kids, dapat pala careful tayo sa ating mga iniisip towards someone or somebody because we can commit murder by our minds. Not only by our minds, sinabi rin dyan sa Matthew chapter 5, verse 21 to 22 na pag yung mouth natin may tinatawag tayo na fool or whatever, Pag yan ay nakakasakit ng ibang tao o nagka-curse ng ibang tao, yan na ay murder. Oh, kaya kids, be careful. Tatangin nyo, Teacher Isha, paano yan? Hindi na po ba ako magagalit kahit kailan, kahit po mali na po yung ginagawa niya? It's okay for us to get angry, to get mad, especially when that person is wrong. But do not sin when you get angry. Why? Ephesians chapter 4 verses 26 to 27. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. It's okay for us to be mad, but do not sin when you are 
mad. Especially, when you are mad, dapat hindi na natin palilipasin ang isang araw na galit doon sa tao ngayon. Sabi dyan, huwag na natin hayaan lumubog ang araw na hindi pa kayo. Okay. So, kayo mga kids ha, pag may kaaway kayo, dapat hindi natin hayaan na lumipas ang maraming araw, buwan, linggo, taon, bago kayo maging Okay, kasi pag nagalit tayo, maliit lang yan, tapos hanggang sa palaki ng palaki, hanggang pwedeng mag-isip na tayo na masama, na gusto natin gawin dito sa ibang tao, na talaga na makakawit na tayo ng murder in action, na hindi natin gusto at hindi gusto ng Panginoon, dapat hindi na natin hayaan na lumipas ang maraming araw o isang araw na hindi ito naayos. Because when you let anger sit in your hearts, in your minds, in your tongue, The devil can take that place. Satan can take that place at pwede kang magkasala ng sobra-sobra sa Panginoon. And now, hey, teacher, is it okay to be angry? Yes. But is it okay to let anger control your heart, your mind, and your tongue? No. Okay? Because kahit na walang nakakarinig na sinasabi mo na, ay talaga tong tao to, pag nakikita ko, naiinis ako, gusto ko na siyang suntukin. Mm -mm. Ang Panginoon, alam niya kung anong nasa isip mo at nasa puso mo at sa kanya, nag-commit ka na ng murder. Bakit pa tayo hindi dapat mag-murder? Because we should respect life, honor life, and value life. Why? Who gave us life? It's God. And God is the only taker of life. Because God loves us. It is stated in His Word at John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. God values our life. That's why He gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, for us to have eternal life someday there in heaven. Tapos tayo, mag -e end lang tayo, magmamurder lang tayo ng life ng ibang tao? Mm -mm, hindi yung tama. Because we should respect life, honor life, and value life. Because why? Where did life come from? It's from God. Kids, malina. Commandment number six. What does it say? No murder.